and welcome to today's video. Today I wanted to share with you a little bit of a haul, a little bit of a review, basically my thoughts on the ASOS Hourglass range. I have always kind of known that ASOS has had an Hourglass range at least for quite a while. I think it launched back in 2018 I believe. I could be wrong but I'm fairly certain that's the first time I kind of saw the Hourglass range pop up on ASOS and they didn't really have anything that exciting. They kind of had like blouses and as far as I can remember, not much else, but recently they've launched more items in the Hourglass range, so I thought I'd give it a go. Before we get started though, I want to tell you a little bit about myself. I am 5'7", which everyone always thinks I'm way shorter than I am, but no, I am 5'7". I am typically a UK size 12. I believe everything I ordered have ordered is a size 12. I hope so. I feel like there might be a few things that aren't a 12 but I think most of the items are a 12. I kind of feel that like hourglass and pear shapes and apples and what other obscure shapes people can be. I kind of feel like I don't totally get it but equally it's generally quite an easy way for us to be like yeah I'm kind of almost this sort of shape but I do feel like everyone's quite different. Everybody is so different that it's very hard for us to kind of fit into one of those. I would say personally I'm somewhere between an hourglass and a pear. Take with a pinch of salt. I'm not out here pretending I have like the perfect hourglass figure because I don't. But I just wanted to give this a go because I am typically slightly wider here and slightly smaller here. But then I do have a big bust here. So I just wanted to see what the range is about, find out if it kind of fits better and what the differences are. I have bought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items. One of these has already been featured on my YouTube, but I thought I'd speak about it anyway. So the first item is this, which is kind of like dungarees slash a jumpsuit. I am very excited about this because I think probably more than anything, I struggle with jumpsuits and dungarees. In particular dungarees, I don't think these are quite dungarees because they come up quite high on the side. But they have a very similar vibe to dungarees but I would say these are probably more so a jumpsuit. I really, really struggle with jumpsuits. I am relatively tall, I have quite a long torso, and I just find that nothing fits my legs, they don't fit my waist, or I just always have issues with this sort of thing. So I'm very, very, very excited to try this. I bought this in a size 12. It's a, I would say it's a denim material actually. It's black, it has pockets, I'm very excited. If there's one item that I'm hoping fits me is this one which obviously means it's probably not going to work out but you know then i got a couple of pairs of jeans actually quite a few i got four pairs the first are these they're all kind of like straight leg jeans this pair i got in a 30 32 um oh, 32 might be a bit long for me but i don't think i have particularly long legs these are a raw hem i really like a raw hem i know not everyone does but personally big big fan and um, they're in a mid wash blue from the back they do look quite like small on top and bigger on the bottom so hoping they work out quite well for me i bought a black pair a washed black i haven't had black jeans in a very very long time so these are quite exciting these are though a 28 because I, i'll be honest i've ordered these already in a 30 and i thought they were a little bit big that doesn't mean that the 28 is going to fit um i am typically always pretty much a 12 so i i think that if this 28 fits which is a 10 then in my opinion that's because these jeans come out a little bit bigger or maybe they're just like more fitted to my shape because these you can really tell that that is a much smaller waist or not necessarily a smaller waist but i just feel like in proportion to the bottom you can tell that there's a big difference to like a normal pair of, a normal pair of jeans and these don't have a raw hem by the way next these are again in a 32 oh maybe i bought them all in a 32 yeah bought them all in a 32 i clearly decided that 32 was my length you should buy a 30 but these again have rips on the on the knees i think these look much bigger than the other ones that i've got but they might just be a more relaxed fit and that might be why they're bigger blue denim ripped knees but a a finished hem then we have another pair which i'm very excited about these are a much lighter wash i really like a light wash if i'm honest these are really quite like 90s more laid back jeans. really hope these fit they have no rips and a finished hem 
so looking forward to those i really need some new jeans might have seen better days like they're fine but they're not great please excuse this is a little bit creased because i have worn it this is an asos white t-shirt in the hourglass range this is a 12 i already kind of have an opinion on this so once i try it on i'll kind of share those with you i picked up this body the reason i picked this up was because i really 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 struggle with button down stuff maybe not so much shirts but especially if there's any elastic in it or if it's like quite tight i really really struggle because where i have a fuller bust i just find that it really really pulls and if it's like a dress then i just find that it's like baggy around my waist and then really tight around my legs so i really do struggle with button down stuff so i just thought it'd be quite interesting and then finally the item that i have shown on here already is this tracksuit set there are trousers underneath i have worn this and actually i'll be completely honest this needs to go in the wash because i have a bit of a stain on the trousers already i really have a thorough opinion on this because i've been wearing this way too much recently basically let's get started we will start with i'm going to start with this because why not let's just go in order this is the item i'm probably most excited about so let's give this a go guys such conflicted views on this i love this i think this is beautiful it just does not fit me it but the issue here is actually that i'm just too tall oh my well my torso is because i literally cannot move my upper body because it's just so tight which also meant that i couldn't really do it up it's really really lovely i might try a size up i might get the 14 to see how that goes but i think i'm just or i might even see if they have a tall version but i think this fits really really lovely it's like i don't think overly tight on my legs it's just a beautiful beautiful shape such a shame it doesn't fit me the bottom half kind of looks like this it's quite long such a shame i'm gonna try on the t-shirt with the first pair of jeans i am in the jeans and the t-shirt we will talk about both i just want to quickly mention that i do not have spanks on i feel that's quite important because i know a lot of people do try on try ons with spanks on which i don't because i just wouldn't ever i don't really wear spanks that much i don't wear them on like a regular basis i don't think i've worn them this year i would only wear them if i was like going to a party or something like that or like an event where i had like a very very tight dress and i wanted that kind of like look which isn't typically what i go for anyway so this is the the top and like i said it's quite a an affordable top i don't really see what's overly hourglass about it i guess this is kind of a good it still does kind of like sit on me when i do that but actually I think it's i think maybe it's just a little bit bigger around the bust area i don't think it necessarily comes any any smaller maybe slightly into the waist i i think it's an okay t-shirt i think it's a great t-shirt for the price i think that the material is a bit sheer and a bit thin i would like this the neck area to be a bit higher but other than that like i, I don't think it's an outstanding t-shirt i don't think that just because it's hourglass this is what you should opt for onto the jeans i'm gonna tuck in the t-shirt oh i should probably try and do this neatly okay i tuck in my t-shirts pretty much all the time to my jeans just how i wear them i find it fits my shape better love these love these i will bring you down so you can see better they are stretchy and that's my slight issue i think they fit so nicely more so than any of my other jeans i would say i think the difference is that around the back this does come in a little bit smaller which is great other than that i don't think it's a big difference i guess here they come in a little bit tighter i just think they're really nice so these are a slim mum pair of jeans i think for me i'm a bit unsure about these basically i think they the fit is a five out of five i think they fit really 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 beautifully but i just don't know if i want a slim mum jean i think i would prefer just a mum jean and which doesn't typically fit my shape it doesn't suit my shape that well but just kind of a style i prefer but actually that's a good point like if you are a similar shape to me and you're start you're struggling with a mum jean then maybe something like this is better because it's definitely not a skinny jean but it's a slim jean so i think it's a nice shape i could only hope that the rest of these jeans go as well as these we're on to the next pair which is this back pair which is the smaller size this is a size 20 eight the reason i went for the 28 instead of the 30 is because like i said i ordered the 30 and i had them on and i was like talking to my mum and like showing her like do you like these and then i sat down and it just seemed like there was a lot of like fabric in this sort of area because although i am quite hourglass e maybe pear e i don't necessarily have like largest butt kind of my size is like here and in my thighs but i don't really feel out the back 
as well as I fill out like the sides and the legs. So that's why I'm going down size. It'll be interesting to see if these fit basically. So we are now onto the black jeans. Now these are a hourglass high rise farley slim jeans which is exactly the same as the last pair but these are in washed black these however are a 28 waist and a 32 length now these fit it, like no issue i definitely got in them so i actually think that maybe it is worth sizing down in these jeans because i do find that jeans always look give a little anyway so the size up is just gonna Get that a little bit bigger and if it's already a little bit big anyway it's probably best to size down but again i think maybe i just don't like the farleys as much as i once used to because they are a slim mum jean and i think i just prefer a more standard mum jean i believe at least one of these are a looser fit jean that said these are beautiful if you are looking for a new pair of black jeans and you do like a slimmer fit then these are great i think they fit really really well i basically think that size 12 would be the 10 around the waist but the 12 everywhere else which if you're kind of this sort of shape is kind of what you need around this area they look like this and then towards the bottom they are definitely a slightly slimmer fit than what i'm looking for but i mean they're not a skinny jean i do really like them i have a 32 length maybe i need a 30 no i think probably about 32 is about right for me to be honest in these the next pair are again the farley slim um, but we're going to try these on. Although these are supposed to be exactly the same as the last pair, um, just with ripped knees, they feel very different. They feel significantly larger. I don't think they fit as well because they are just a little bit big. Um, they're still supposed to be a slim fit, but far less slim. I will pan down so I, I can show you, but it's just definitely baggier. So I actually think these are, are going to go back. Um, there's just a lot there's just a lot more fabric compared to the other ones like there's just so much like here and i don't really i guess it's not as much in my legs but this part just feels a bit big i don't know i just i just don't think these fit like as glove like as the last pair so i think these are gonna go back i actually wasn't sure if i wanted a pair with ripped knees anyway so i guess that's kind of decided it and we're on to the next pair of trousers which are 90s denim so i'm really excited because these are actually different to the other ones the issue is that there wasn't really like that many hourglass jeans on the asos website it was largely just farley's these and there may have been like some skinny ones but i knew i didn't want skinny ones so i didn't even pick them up so gonna try these on so i was really really hoping that these would fit and they most definitely don't i just don't think there's any way i can get into these i feel like here is where they're really very tight there's just no chance absolutely not i also don't think these are high waisted which is strange these are a 12 these are a 30 i'm just not getting into them i'm gonna obviously return these because this isn't working and it just like that's what really really disappoints me from, with brands sometimes is that i have had a pair of size 10 asos jeans and they fit me and these were the 12 and like this, this just isn't working and like that's so annoying oh maybe these just don't have as much stretch to them because they are a proper jean and the other ones had a bit more stretch but that's still so annoying like so frustrating especially because i had i really wanted these to fit but they definitely don't put one of the other jeans back on and i i'm in the body as well i'm gonna do this up to show you like how this fits if i were to do it up this is a 12 as well by the way um, i also don't think this color suits me but there we go so if this were done up i don't think this would fit i think it's just yeah it's just too small too tight around my bust area which is fine because obviously like everyone has different bust sizes if we open this up i actually think that looks fine and i think in the picture it was one it's, it's kind of i guess still pulling slightly i actually don't think it's like overly pulley i think i could definitely wear this i actually um don't think this kind of suits me you know I, I i wanted something similar to this to show you guys i'm not sure if i think it fits any better than if i were to just buy this in a non hourglass it's shape like like what makes it hourglass i don't know it is a body and i do like a body it has got long sleeves which i really like but i just I don't think it's quite perfect. We're gonna now try on this. I'll be right back. Tractors are on. I have kept this top on, I'm sorry. It's just because it's a lot of getting changed. Now, I really do think that this waistband is tighter than on normal tracksuits. Joggers. I feel like we're not allowed to call them tracksuits anymore. Joggers. Because like, when I get in them, I kind of have to like wiggle to get them up to here. But then the rest of it is definitely, it's like the right size, which is great. They are very 
high waisted. They have pull string, which is great. So I think, yeah, shape wise, great. However, let's move on to the jumper. Now I have been wearing this for ages. So I actually think there's like a little stain here, which it is going to wash basically. This is my at home tracksuit. I just think this is doing a hourglass shape, no favors. Now it's extremely comfortable, but I just think that they should have put this together with a cropped top. This top is so long. It adds like so much bulk to this area. Like you cannot see the waist. And if this just were like this, I just, it could still be baggy, but I just think that would be so much nicer. Anyway, it's not, it's still very comfy. I think I'm probably just gonna cut it. The one thing I'm gonna say is that I don't think it's like the best quality tracks that you're gonna buy. The fluff is so fluffy, it fluffs onto everything. It was literally like a trail. Let, let me show you, here we go, see? Fluff, it, the fluff just gets everywhere. There was like a trail behind me as I walked of fluff. But it's super comfy. I just think that they've done a great job with the hourglass part of the trousers, but not so much of the top. So that's the end of this video. Overall, very, very mixed. I 100% would buy from the hourglass range again. I think um, this, I wish this, I wish this fit me. I'm gonna look into this. Maybe they've got it in like other shape. And then actually like jean wise, I actually think the jeans fit really well. I am gonna keep one pair of these jeans, I think. I'm not sure which color, but I'm, I want to look to see if maybe they've got something that's not as slim and look into buying that. This tracksuit, like honestly, it's just so comfy. Like yes, it's not the most flattering, but for comfort, it's a, f a five out of five, hundred percent. And that's the end. I really hope you enjoyed it a little bit different. Let me know what you'd like to see from me next, whether it be beauty, whether it be fashion, whether it be like Christmas, whether it be what anything, just let me know down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.